Oh, 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 hi. Welcome to Wednesday at Wayne. Uh, in case you didn't know it, footy season is back into full swing this weekend. In, in the back of every mind of every footy player and probably every netball player, anyone who plays sport at a good level, huh, there's that dream of getting a trophy, the trophy of winning a grand final at the end of the season. I, I don't care who you are, you need a dream in life. It, you, just like a footy player or any athlete needs a dream to keep going, you need a dream in life. You go, wait, Wayne, why do I need a dream in life? Well, a dream will help you harness the energy in your time and your life. The most precious commodity you have in life is your time. And, and you think about it. You can lose money and you can get it back. You can have a relationship fall apart and see it restored. But once time spent, it's gone forever. I sometimes find it hard to focus my energy. There, there are so many things competing for my attention. I carry this little thing with me everywhere I go. It's amazing how much time it can waste on the apps on it. They compete for my energy and more than anything, they can distract my energy, they can distract my time. So here's my big thought for today. You can't do everything in life and that's okay. You see, not everything in life is worth doing. Some things are more important than other things and some things need to be done, but maybe not by you. It seems to me that you have to decide what matters most and what doesn't matter most. And truth be known, we all have multiple dreams and many of them are good dreams. And some of those dreams are worth a lot of your attention and some of those dreams aren't worth a single second of your life. Did you have a dream of being rich or famous or having influence and power? Those dreams aren't worth a single minute of your life. They're fleeting. One minute you could be a hero and the next minute you're a zero. One minute you can be on the cover of some magazine and the next minute that magazine's in the rubbish bin. You see, one day all our trophies are going to be thrown away by someone else. Just go to the dump and every day hundreds of trophies get dumped there. Don't live your life for the trophies or fame. Those dreams are far too small. Get a dream that will impact eternity. That kind of a dream will focus your energy and your time and keep you going through tough times. Listen to what the Apostle Paul had to say. All athletes are, disciplining in their are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will never fade away. But, sorry, they, they do it for a prize that will fade away. But we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I'm not just shadow boxing. When you choose God's dream for your life, you set yourself up for lasting success. On March the 26th, that's not this Sunday, the one after that, we're going to do a ministry fair in our church. We're going to showcase all the different ministries and I invite you to go spend some time walking around. Allow God time to give you a dream. See, some of the dreams we have are like those trophies in life that just get thrown in the dump. But you get involved in one of those areas of ministry might be mowing lawns, doing some maintenance, could be helping set up for a ladies event. There's so many different areas that we may not think of that important, but they are important. They last for eternity. They can become God dreams that will last for eternity. And this Sunday after church, we're going to parenting support group. That's a good dream to support. And Elena Sorens will be running that. If you've got a child or know someone that's got special needs, it's going to be a great time to support. Anyway, that's my thoughts for this week. Looking forward to seeing you this weekend.